So today I'm going to show you how to how I make my labels from scratch. Um, when I first started my candle business, I looked for more of a textured label, something that looked really luxury and clean, and I couldn't find that in the companies that were already out, especially companies that were a bit more cost effective for someone just starting a business. And so um, I decided to find the particular paper that I wanted to use and make them myself. So, here is basically what I use. Um, you'll need this. It's basically a paper cutter, which allows you to cut your paper and your labels evenly. So, this is definitely a must. I need this. Um, and then, you'll need sticker paper. So this is basically double-sided sticky paper. Um, you'll stick this on the back of whatever label paper you choose. Um, and I got the sticky paper from Amazon and I got the label cutter from Michaels. Now, for the label paper, it's a white sheet of paper, but it's cardstock. Um, so it's very thick and sturdy and it's textured. It has nice texture on it. So it's not just flat white paper. It has all of those clean kind of textured lines in there to make it look, you know, really luxury in my opinion. I mean, the candles with the flat glossy stickers are cool, but I just wanted something different, something that um, I don't see often in the candle market and I wanted to differ differentiate myself in that way. Um, so I decided to, like I said, pick my own label paper. And so once you choose your label paper and you have all of your supplies. So the first thing you want to do is go into canva.com Create your label, make it the size that you want, and then go ahead and download um, your label. PNG, use a transparent background if you don't want any color. Um, PNG is the highest quality, so that's what I use. Um, make sure you pick the label that you want to download. I have a ton of labels here, um, but this is the one I'm using for today. So then after you click download, um, you wait for that to download to your computer and then as you can see there's a transparent background so that's pretty much ready to go you don't have to save it or anything um, I'm using a Mac so it's gonna be in my downloads then I go to Avery.com and here's where I have all of my projects you can see some labels that I've already done and I just like to look at which one I've used in the past and that's the Presta 94101 it's just a square label. It works for my jar. It's the perfect size for what I need. And so then I go to upload um, a project. I mean, create a new project. And so once I go into create new project, I try to find that um, Presta 94101 label template. Um, maybe I don't have to put Presta in the front. I can just put um, the numbers 94101 and I'm going to be using a square label so go down the square label and put 94101 for me that is a three inch label and you get six labels per sheet select the template then I'm going to click on upload complete design um, after I click that then I'll select file and um, my download from canva.com. I click on download and then I select what I downloaded from canva.com. And after that download, you can see the label that I chose here. Um, everything looks good. So click apply this design. And in this screen, it basically, you just make want to make sure that nothing is outside of the die line and that everything is aligned correctly. Click preview and print. Then you'll see your template and you want to print yourself. Um, so click print yourself 
And then here you can do just one label or you can choose to do the full sheet. And I chose to do the full sheet because I'll have more labels to print. So I get PDF. I like to save all of my labels because, of course, I'll be going back. Um, I'm going to sell more than six of these cents. Um, so definitely I'm going to need more. So it's always good to save. Just, you know, name your label and um, save it to your account. After that, you're going to want to then download your PDF. And it'll just download as a um, basic PDF. It's already aligned. It's already kind of in those little squares that you need. And after that, you are going to want to um, print your label sheet. And so you just click print and it'll print, you know, out of the printer as it would. Um, in any other case, um, you don't need to make any changes in this screen or any like anything like that. Just click on print and then your labels will print out on your uh, printer paper of choice. So we now have our labels printed. The next step is going to be to add the sticky paper to the back of your labels. So you're going to take this and you're going to peel off the white backing, not the backing with the measurement squares because those are helpful when cutting. So peel off the white piece and then you're going to want to evenly lay this sticky piece on your label paper. press it. Press it and make sure it's down good. It'll be a little bit larger than your actual label paper but that's okay as long as it fits fully across. And with this you'll get approximately six labels. So after I put my label sticker paper on, it's pretty sturdy, I grab my cutter and you're going to want to do this on a flat surface because if you don't it just doesn't act right so then what I like to do is measure this out and for me I already know you know how much white space I want at the top of my label so I go to about that point lock it and then simply cut it and then I take a look at it it's a little bit too much white space so I'm going to push it back in there and chop a little more off of the top so that's better um, then Make sure here that the line is straight across 
because sometimes they can, these can come out a little bit crooked and you don't want that. You'll just end up wasting paper trying to fix it. So I make sure that's straight across. And then I cut. Now depending on how many of this scent I'll need to make, I'll just cut one or two and then I'll leave it whole like this um, for a, another purchase. So now we have this. That's pretty even. Looks pretty good. Now we want to cut off the label that we'll need to put on our candle jar. There you have it. So now that we have our label printed out, then you're good to go to place it on your jar. And so I'm using the sage jar here. And you basically want to take your backing off of your label and you want to measure and line it up with the middle of your wick. So I'll show you how I, how I do that. I like to lay my candle jar flat to make sure that I'm getting um, my label on evenly and directly in the center matching up with my wooden wick. So I place my jar flat. Well, this is the front of the wick, so I'm going to do it like that. Place my jar flat, like so. And then I take my label and I measure it out, making sure that it's even. Sometimes the jar rolls. <laughs> And if that happens, just find something around you, like a book or something like that, and just put it on the side and make sure everything's nice and, and sturdy and stable. So what you want to do is take the back part of your label off, just the, the paper, like that, and then as you can see, the sticky stuff is here. It's very, very important that you make sure you get this right the first time because if you don't, this stuff is really, really sticky and once it's on, it's pretty much on. You'll kind of ruin your jar if you, you know, mess up and try to take it off. So try not to press it down in the beginning. Just measure it on and make sure you have the proper measurement and then kind of sit it down and once you sit it down you know look at it and make sure it's right that it's even top bottom if that looks good then press down in the center and get your label on now generally when I do this, I use white gloves because my labels are white and I don't want to get anything on them. I want to make sure that they look good. You know, sometimes I have makeup on my fingers or something like that. And plus you just, when you're handling something, especially in the COVID days, you want to make sure you're using gloves because this is going to go out to a customer um, potentially. I'm making this jar for myself, um, so it's okay, but in the end, that's kind of how it's going to look. Now, if, if, it, if it looks a little off-center in the beginning with the wooden wick, that's okay because you're going to end up 
trimming the wig down anyhow and it's gonna look good um so yeah that's how i make my labels so here's the finished product um that's how i make my labels for now um i don't know if it'll change because i really like these i have to special order my paper and i get my paper from michael's at this point um i haven't been able to find it online to buy it more in bulk so that i can get more of a savings um but right now this works for me um, once my business begins to grow and it gets a bit larger, of course, I'm going to have to change um, what I'm doing and try to find out how to get these labels um, pre-created for me and for my business. But because when I launched, I started with so many scents, just trying to see, you know, how the market is and what people are going to want to buy, I didn't want to really try to find anything that I had to invest thousands of dollars in for scents that maybe wouldn't sell. Um, so I just like to test the market first and see how everything goes and then after that once I've settled on my method and how I'm going to go to market with my candles each season um, and then I'll have a better idea of you know kind of my budget for um, things like labeling um, but right now I'm just making them on my own everything is pretty much handmade um, for me and like I said it's working and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions about anything um, just leave them in the comments you can email me my email is listed below um, and I will provide all of the links for everything that I pretty much use outside of the paper because like I said I've not been able to find this online on Michael's website or anywhere um, so I'll just leave you the name of the paper and I've already said you can get it at Michael's um, craft store and um, that's about it so um, thanks for watching and my next video I will be doing some candle pouring so I'm gonna you know measure out my fragrance measure out my wax pour it and allow you to see you know that whole entire process because you know it's a lot that goes into candle making and a lot that goes into actually creating a candle business and um, I just want to take everybody along with me and possibly help someone who is wanting to get started with the candle business um, and go from there. So thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas break if you're on Christmas break. And I'll be back with another video next week. Bye.